So I'm going to do the best to kind of walk you through the playback app here. So as soon as you open it, it's going to look like this. Um, uh, here you'll see you've got like the gear button, which will bring up all sorts of stuff. I would say the first thing, it's also where you can log in. First thing to do is take your click sound and I would change one that's been working really well for us is to change your sound to gentle. And so I've got it on gentle right there. You experiment with those different ones, but gentle seems to be a really good one um, that I like to pick. Uh, once you're in here, once you're logged in under uh, the, the account, which is my email and the password, um, you're simply just going to start adding your songs. And so I'm just going to do this weekend set list, um, which is just going to be two songs for this weekend. So I go to add song. And here it's, it's going to pull up our subscription, what we have. And so I'll go to my library. From there, you can choose between songs, artists, albums. I normally just do artists. So the first song is by uh, North Point, Inside Out. So we'll go there. And then you'll see we have We Are Royals, which that's the song we want. So like that one. It's going to bring up the key. The crazy thing about this is we can actually do this song in different keys. Um, you can see there, but we're just going to keep the original key. It'll tell you the length of the song. Um, I'm, you normally don't have to change any of this. So once you get your song, you just hit add. It's going to go over here. It's going to have a little loading bar telling you that it's taking that track um, from our kind of online subscription, downloading it to here. So once you have that, um, you can go to the next one. Now for this weekend, we have something special. It's something really cool that this can do. Um, we want to have like a spoken transition in between the first song and the second song, Yes, I Will, since um, Yes, I Will is the first time we've done it. We need to unpack it a little bit. So the cool thing is, is uh, there you can see this song is finished. I'll show you this really quick. Here's the backing track. So obviously it starts at the very beginning. I'll let you listen to it a little bit. So there's the track from here. Um, you just go and you, it has every, every individual track that you need. So you bring them up or down and whatever you need in the mix, you create the mix that you want. So if you've got live drums, pull the drums out, synth loop, uh, bass. There's a sub bass, normally keep that in there, but we'll have a bass player, so we'll take that out. We won't, we'll have, you know, you can listen to the individual electric parts to see what part am I playing that I need to maybe keep electric two in, but I'll be playing electric one kind of make your mix how it is, and that's what will play right there. Um, for the purpose of this week, this weekend, you're kind of going straight through the song, but there's all sorts of crazy things you can do with this program. We'll unpack as you kind of do further trainings or as you kind of learn more about it, but you can uh, go to different sections of the song, pre-chorus. It'll start the pre-chorus like right in time. Let's say from the pre-chorus you want to go right into verse 4. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it keeps playing the pre-chorus until it's ready for the verse 4. So here you'll see. So there's all sorts of ways that you can kind of play with this app and make it uh, really nice. But for the purpose, let's keep going. So now that we're in it, we want to edit. So edit allows you to add new songs. It allows you to take away parts of the song. Um, so I do know that for this weekend, like for instance, we're taking out the rap. So we can go up here to obviously the vamp. And so you'll hear this is where the rap normally is in the song. So I do believe for the instance of this weekend, what we're doing is we're editing. We're going to take this out. We're going to take this out this out but we're gonna leave that so this sounds like um, this will be the brute like basically what is the kind of the bridge of the song go right into this small little bridge section with the guitar part and then back into the pre-chorus so and then right back into the pre-chorus all right, so for the purposes of keep moving on, uh, what we're going to do, because we want a spoken transition in between here, we're actually going to add a really cool thing in here. You go back, um, called a pad. So it's just a simple pad. They're called guitar pads. It's really cool. You select those. You do the key of C because We Are Royals is in C and Yes, I Will is in C. Um, let's say Yes, I Will was in G or A. You would want this to be 
the pad that would be the same key of the next song that we're going into. So it just works out nice this weekend that it's both A. I usually always keep it at 10 minutes. It's just it would technically play for 10 minutes if you didn't touch it, but um, we know we're not going to do that, but I keep it there anyway. So the key is C. We're good to go. Just hit add. It's going to add that guitar pad in between. And then right after this, we are going to want the song Yes, I Will. That's my phone. So um, we'll go back to my library. Artist. Yes, I Will is... Um, uh, what band is Yes, I Will? Yes, I Will is... I know what band it is, but my brain is vertical. There's the song Yes, I Will. Key of C. Everything's what we need. Hit add. So it's going to add both of those songs. Um, now, once they've loaded in, you can see over here, I've been given a transition. Um, that little arrow means that once it's loaded, I can add what kind of transition I want in between. And actually, from We Are Royals to the guitar pad, um, right now it's set to no transition, but I want to do a crossfade. And so by doing a crossfade, um, you don't have to touch anything. As soon as We Are Royals ends, it blends kind of perfectly right into this guitar pad that we want. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like. You can kind of get out of the edit menu. Um, we'll go to the end of We Are Royals here. And then I'll, I'll show you what that transition is going to sound like. It's loading. There we go. Um, so this will kind of be the last part of the chorus and the ending. And it will transition right into the guitar pad. It's going to end with a big crash. Here's your guitar pad. Even within the pad, there's a ton of different. I tend to like to take um, these things, kind of the highs out a little bit, take the reverse down just a little, keep the root all the way up, take the shimmer and the kind of everything just kind of makes it a little bit more softer. Um, but you can experiment with that, kind of get the sound that you want out of it. You can single these out to know what they sound like by themselves. Uh, and then once you have that, I'm going to keep this transition into Yes, I Will um, with no transition. So you see there it has no transition because um, as, as the person who's leading Yes, I Will, as they're talking, as they're explaining what we're getting ready to sing, we want them to be able to just kind of have this behind them. And then as soon as we're ready, all you have to do as the band director is double tap Yes, I Will. So as soon as I double tap this, we're ready to go. So it goes right into Yes, I Will. That'll shift over, and here's Yes, I Will. Um, same thing with We Are Royals. You put what you want in it. Uh, you can experiment with that and whatever you need for that weekend. But this is kind of your set list. And let's say that after Yes, I Will, um, you know, you get to the end of the song, and um, you want to do a prayer or something like that, um, you could do a couple things. Let's say you just want another guitar pad in the key of C over there. Just add another one over. Or let's say you want the band to continue playing. So for here, instance, uh, we need to find the BPM of Yes, I Will, which will tell you um, back in the actual song information. So if I go to vertical, if I do Yes, I Will again, it'll tell me the BPM is 120. So that's great. So all I need to do is come back here and I need to add in a click track um, for 120 uh, in the time signature, which is 4-4. Four, four. Um, and then I can hit add there. And then we'll have a 120 right here. And then you can just do another simple crossfade. So from the end of Yes, I Will, it will go right into um, that click track so the band can continue to play. So there you've got a click track that will just infinitely repeat your click track. And that can be your transition right there. Um, if you don't want to transition, if you want to end and kind of keep a pad going and you want to cue the click track, you can do it however you want. But that will be this weekend set. That's what it looks like. Uh, that's kind of how to use this in a basic thing. Uh, there will be more tutorials to come. Um, but it's a really cool thing. It's worked very well. Uh, it's never failed on me or anything like that. Um, so it's really cool. I'm looking forward to it.